Hello, in this example, I use the Bose ESP8266 to get temperature from sensor BME to A0, then upload data to Google Spreadsheet. We can use mobile phone to install Google Spreadsheet and view the file anywhere, anytime. Not like data logger by internal website, the spreadsheet will help us to save data in detail for further analysis of your research, and we can draw it in graph like Microsoft Excel for easy view with data update real time. Let's start how to make it. In this example, the board ESP connected with sensor BME by I2C network to read temperature, humid, and pressure data. Our purpose is putting those data on Google Spreadsheet by Wi-Fi router. At Google Spreadsheet, we make new one, rename it, example, temperature monitor. We will go to app script and paste the code to handle data to each column of the spreadsheet. We return to the spreadsheet to copy sheet ID and paste it into the app script. Then, we will deploy the code by this process. Remember, we should copy deployment ID to Arduino code. The ESP board will connect to the spreadsheet by this deployment ID. Download the code to ESP board, then it will start up. The LED on board will blink during the connecting process. If it is off, then the connection is successful. We can see the status of sending data to spreadsheet by Comport monitor. Return the spreadsheet. We can see data is updated real time by each column. I will add label for each column for easy understanding. In the next section, I will show how to add one more column of data in which you can add as much data as you wish. For example, I will add pressure data into column E. At Arduino code, this command will send data temperature and humidity by this structure. We will follow it to add data of pressure. We also need to modify the code to allow it to send one more variable. We can see the pressure data is sent here. However, in the next data update, pressure data is not shown at column A. It is because the code of app script is not updated yet. We will add one more column data for pressure and make new deployment for the code. La 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 la, the data of pressure is here. Next, we will draw graph for temperature with real time at the horizontal axis. There is one thing I need to tell you. The Google Spreadsheet default has only 1,000 rows. You need to add more and more rows to be able to receive data in many days, otherwise the data is not updated. Lastly, I will show how to draw temperature data in graph for many days. Thanks for your watching. I hope the video is helpful for you. Want to collect data for further research? Please share the video for those who need it. Thank you.